Our scripture readings today come from the Gospel of John, chapter 16, and from the letter Paul wrote to the Philippians, chapter 4. First, we're going to hear from Jesus as he speaks to his increasingly anxious disciples who feel impending doom but aren't exactly sure what it will look like. And these are the words that Jesus speaks to them. Are you asking one another what I meant when I said, in a little while you will see me no more, and then after a little while you will see me? Very truly I tell you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will turn to joy. A woman giving birth to a child has pain because her time has come. But when her baby is born, she forgets the anguish because of her joy that a child is born into the world. So with you, now is your time of grief. But I will see you again, and you will rejoice, and no one will take away your joy. In that day, you will no longer ask me anything. Very truly, I tell you, My Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, and your joy will be complete. I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. And now we turn to the Apostle Paul, who in his letter to the Christians at Philippi encouraged them with these words. Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, Present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, Think about these things. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 